because according to our parameter that will measure success if anyone is not excelling it's not the will of god but the true thought the will of god may go against your will and you may never like it some carryovers i bet you is the will of god some spillover i bet you is the will of god i know people then in my campus one of my friends that guy spill and spill and spill not because that guy is not good god does want to keep him in that campus that guy god told that guy go to it pray in the campus the guys refused to pray to an extent and when he was about to graduate god told him ah, i told you to pray for so so you are not doing it you will stay back in this school it looked like joke god appeared to him and tell him you are the one that said hey your mate have gone forward god is still you don't have a mate you your job is to intercede on this campus and because you want to go the only way you can do is to touch your result so everything was fake you went to the department to verify they said they cannot see your script you wrote the exam the script is missing you wrote is missing you wrote is missing it's not because of you god is against you now because the will of god you don't want it you want to follow the will that everybody is following and god said my will you must eat it there are so many things is the will of god but you will not like it because many of the will of god may not be nice to you so some of the things we go to the bible says jesus christ learned obedience by the things he suffered so that is an, a, an obedience that come from suffering so when you pray you submit yourself to god by default the bible says resist the devil after you have submitted to god and he will flee so we are trying to resist but we have not submitted to god submitting to god will require you to be a prayerful person because for you to tell god yes so you must have been praying because god will continue to offend you if you don't pray your life will be filled of all kinds of infirmity like i said prayer leads to encounters in the book of daniel chapter 9 from 21 the bible says, yeah while i was speaking in prayers even the man gabriel whom i see in the vision at the beginning being caused to fly by me swiftly touch me at the time of the evening oblation so prayer leads to encounter while daniel was praying an angel appeared to him if you want to have an encounter lock yourself inside and continue to pray tell yourself i want to go on a one week prayer at night every day and by the time you begin very soon an angel can appear to you jesus can appear to you the reason why you have not had a serious encounter with god is because you have not been consistent with your prayer life prayer helps you build your faith i've said that in jude chapter 1 verse 20 ye beloved building up yourself in your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost in the book of luke chapter 22 from 32 prayer helps you in divine intervention prayer helps for divine intervention when jesus told peter 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 the devil desired to see you like a weed but i have prayed for you that your faith should fail not that is we saw divine intervention and preservation so prayer is a tool for divine preservation many of you wonder why you wake up at night you have a dream and you can have a dream where you see somebody you see an accident happen and the lord saying pray for the accident pray for the people you, have, you just don't know why you're about to travel tomorrow and you had an encounter where you saw as if the car capsized and the lord is telling you to pray why because prayer will be a tool for that divine intervention so that the day the devil will want to happen prayer can stop it the reason why god show you something before it happens is because he wants you to pray against it very important you are in a school and suddenly you are sleeping you saw your result in the notice board you saw f f f if god does not want you to change it he will show you that's the truth but when god show you my brother it's not for you to cross your leg and look for bobo or jivita it's for you to wake up and say today i decree and i declare this shall not happen the lord has shown it to me in a vision and i will change it very important prayer helps you to heal the sick the bible speaks in the book of james chapter 5 from 13 says anyone among you afflicted let him pray is anyone among you afflicted let him pray is anyone among you sick let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him so we saw that prayer is a tool for healing for deliverance to take away oppression and affliction that means if we don't pray people can remain sick if we don't pray people will remain oppressed it's against the law of god that we are a prayerful church and people are sick it's not okay that is why we take our time in miracle service to pray by faith and decree why because according to the law in scripture is anyone afflicted let him pray in fact the bible says even if you are afflicted you too you should pray you that you are afflicted you should still wake up and pray 
So prayer will help bring you to the point of healing. Let me see how I can end with the seasons of prayer. The seasons of prayer. Many more times people will just wonder. What time should I pray? What season should I pray? Well, huh, you will not like my answer. See, every time is a time of prayer. Every time. There is no one special time for prayers. I'm telling you. Every, you can decide to make now your time of prayer. Later. Two hours. Three hours. Four hours. You can decide to pray at night, at day, at evening, at morning. I'm getting my point now. But if you are wise, if you are wise, eh, pray spontaneously. The reason why I'm saying pray spontaneously is because don't think that just because you have mastered how to pray in the night time, eh, the devil cannot get you. See, the devil is very wise. He will wait for you for the time when you are weak and come. He will never come when you are strong. I get to the point now. If you have mastered how to pray in the daytime, devil will come to you in the other time. So if you are going to learn even from the Muslim, an average Muslim pray both in the night, the day, the morning. The, do you understand? They have learned how to pray always. Do you get the point? So a Muslim have learned how to wake up early in the morning and carry his Buddha and go and do ablution. As you, you are lying down, you are stretching. <laughs> the Muslim know that when he hears the clarion call, he should wake up. He has also learned that when the sun is hot, that time that you don't feel like going out, he will also go out and go and play. He has learned all the time, whether in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, because all of them have their advantage. There are things that only those that pray at night can get. There are things that only those that pray in the daytime can get. There are things that only those that pray in the morning can get. There are things that only those that pray in the noon can get. So when you go to scripture, you will realize that there are different types of prayer. There are times when others pray at night, others pray in the evening, others pray at diverse time. If I am you, I will pray spontaneously as God give me grace and as God give me the body. So if God give me the body at night to pray, I wake up and pray. If you give me the body to pray in the daytime, I will do it. If you give me the body to pray in the new time, I will do it. Don't say because it's not my time of prayer, you'll be in trouble. When we were in school that time, I remember we used to pray from 7 p.m. to like 9 p.m. So 9 to 10 sometimes. Do you know within that time we are the most spiritual people? Immediately we are done with that prayer. I should just leave that place from 10 o'clock. If you touch me, I will slap you. Suddenly so carnality will enter. So the devil will not come for us when we are doing that prayer. From that 7 to 10, you are a very spiritual person. I should just leave that place. The devil is waiting for you. The same way many of you here, you are very holy. Live here now. As you just go out there, you will not discover everything about to change. Why? Because the devil will always wait for you outside to escort you. If you are wise, no Allah, as you hold your hands, you are going. Suddenly, God put a burden up upon you by 12. You wake up tired. The devil, ah, I thought the, tomorrow by 7 you play again. No, I am playing now. <laughs> he will leave you. Why? Because the devil can't stay long with you if you are praying always. Do you know why? Because anytime you are praying always, you are aligning with God the more. Because when the devil will destroy you, he will look for when you are weak. When you are very, very weak. So if you sense the grace of God to pray at the night time, pray. There was a counsel a witch gave. They caught one witch and the witch said, Kai. There are about four people that they told them never to attack. Four people. That they train them in their coven that they should not attack four set of people number one those that don't have time of prayer those that pray all the time those people that used to move around praying like mad people you see the person in the office baka, 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 baka. he's in the toilet you are hearing baka, da, bana, da. Oh, God, what are you doing? the person is cooking food baka, baka, da, bana, da, baka. those people don't attack them because they are prepared they are wearing their garment they are they have their weapon all the time they don't used to remove his endless rest. No, they have their arrow, they are shooting all the time. Don't attack those ones because they will make you their prayer request and you will die. See, if 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 I make you my prayer point, you can't survive. Imagine all the time the person is cursing you all the time. You are the you are the only focus. Those people that you know, those times when there is nothing that distracts you, no job, no boyfriend, no girlfriend, no academy, no admission. You are just inside every day. Baga, baga, baga. Baga, baga, baga. So that when everything fails in your life, it's only everybody has that season. 
but the problem is that now there are so many things that surround you you are managing too many things so you don't have time so god you know i don't have time out of 24 hours i just have one hour to sleep and this one hour will give you just 10 minutes that's the reason why god will shut down everything because you have reduced your strength so witches and wizards will wait for you that's why when you are going to your work i had the tragic death of the manager is it the ceo of access bank very painful death a billionaire was flying with his family in a plane and the plane crashed and they died do you know who a billionaire is no billionaire fly the a jet that doesn't have capacity if you are a billionaire you can buy like 30 jets so you will not want to fly the one that his leg is moving like this so they fly the best like they they buy the best but even in the best in the day one small demon look upon and they <laughs> so you can be in the jet and if you don't understand spirituality somebody will leave your village and climb what they call it eh? they will climb granite granite and move and they will hit your jet like this and you don't know why made it made it made it made it you can die in a Rolls Royce you can die in a Lamborghini you can die cheaply because the devil is not afraid of your Rolls Royce he's not afraid of your Lamborghini because all your prayer is I must plant best <laughs> you will die inside the reason why you die is because you buy a private jet if you would have fly commercial maybe you'll be safe because in that place there are all kinds of prayer warriors inside because some of us don't have a private so we are inside the the commercial one so because we are inside we are praying because as the thing is shaking like this we are praying and let this thing land safely but because you are flying the best your your hope is upon the engineer do you know this thing do you know how much is this jet it's 30 billion era demons are not afraid of the capacity of it in monetary value because the way Nera is crashing the jet can crash 